New stuff just released from IK Multimedia and Tonex. We've got this. Now this is the official Mesa Boogie uh, Signature Reference Amp Collection or Reference Signature Amp Collection, one or the other. It's official, it's by Mesa Boogie, it's captured by Mesa Boogie or profiled or whatever you wanna call it. And now available on Tonex for your uh, listening and playing pleasure. Now I just wanna mention right from the start, this is given to me by IK Multimedia, so this is what you would call a sponsored video, but just listen to it, see if you like it. I'm pretty sure you can try it out um, yourself anyway. There's free trials on it, so check it out if you have Tonic stuff. Um, I think it's really, really cool. We'll go through it all. Uh, there's timestamps for everything below because it could be or chapter marks or what you want to call it. It could be a lengthy video. And if there's anything in particular you want me to do in a future video with any of these, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can do some more videos. I already have a couple of ideas, maybe for two more videos that may or may not be out at the same time as this or shortly thereafter, but uh, that will be linked down in the description below, most likely, if it all goes according to plan. Now, let's quickly look at, I got an email with a little bit of a, oh, and it's not that, with this, with a little bit of a spiel uh, from Icon Multimedia. So this is the Mesa Boogie Reference Signature Collection featuring five iconic amplifiers, including an exact recreation of Carlos Santana's original Budokan Mark I. Now, I believe Carlos Santana is a guy who coined the name Boogie. Uh, I think uh, when Randall Smith was working in his shop before Mesa Boogie was ever around, he was modding Fender, amp, Fender amps like um, Princeton's and Deluxe Reverbs and stuff like that. And the first one he made, I think Carlos Santana said, this amp really boogies. And I think it stuck so all the mark series amps and all the amps that sort of come from the fender modded fender kind of world still to this day in the mesa boogie world they're branded boogie all the other ones are branded uh, mesa amplifiers or mesa engineering now these were fine-tuned recorded and fine-tuned by uh legendary tone boy duck west i think uh, randall smith is right hand man to this day i believe um, and in-house tone guru for over 40 years, uh, blah, 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 in Northern California. So basically you get uh, 40 tone models, four different amps and one limited edition King Snake, uh, 46 of them with cap, 24 without. So some of them uh, have caps attached, some don't. Uh, I think one of the videos I'm gonna do down the track or at the same time now is the ones without the cabinet, maybe with an external cap loader like the Two Notes Genome or something like that. Um, that may already be out or may not, check in the description. Um, so they used two different Mesa Boogie reference cabs, a four by 12 slope and a one by 12 white bow extension. Uh, they were fine tuned by uh, Doug West and ex-artist relations manager, now recording engineer, Sean Bur Burs Bursford, Bur Bursford, something like that, to multiple sweet spots uh, in a world-class studio with ideal acoustics and the perfect gear. Blah, 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 blah. Now, what do they call a reference amplifier? Now, a reference amplifier doesn't necessarily have to mean a prototype or the actual amp. It's a production model that was recognized as being exceptional. And then they meticulously scrutinized component by component to unlock the secret of the sonic brilliance. Um, these are perfect uh, amplifiers, perfectly represent the series and are gold standards for the model and sound. So they kept certain models that sounded particularly good for their own collection i guess uh and reference cabs as well so we've got the um the 4x12 and the kingsnake combo loaded with a jensen blackbird 100 on nico uh and that's a bit more about duck west and all that stuff i'm sure that stuff will be up on ik multimedia website or i'm sure you can find stuff online so look at it there what we're looking at is this so basically we have a 1984 mesa boogie mark 2c plus uh metallica used them uh prince used them I think early on um, Dream Theater, John Patricia used them, or still possibly, and I think his signature version is based somewhat, or some channels are based on that. Uh, so they did 14 tone models of that, nine with cap, five without. We've got an early 90s Mesa Boogie Mark IV, uh, 10 tone models, uh, seven with cap, three without. An early 90s dual rectifier, uh, again, you know, it's all the Metallica tool, blah, blah, blah. Nine models, six with cap, three without and a 1994 Trooper Rectifier, um, bigger power section, blah, 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 metal guitarist, 25 tone models, 16 with cab, nine without. And they've got the limited edition King Snake, uh, which is, they've made 600 of those. Um, and this is one of them that they, that sort of, you know, gold standard. Um, 
12 tone models, eight with cab, eight without. And then pricing uh, $99, not $99.99 dollars and euro. Uh, I'm sure they, they often do um, introduction prices. And if you're part of the mailing list, they always do sales. So check all that sort of stuff out. But I'm pretty sure you can try all this stuff out for free anyway. Um, yeah, so check it out and see how you like it. Now, what I thought I would do today is uh, I'm going to do uh, sort of glance through most of the sounds because there's tons of them and I don't want the video to be too long. Going to use a couple of different guitars. And then, like I said, if there's anything in particular you want me to do, if you want me to do videos with each amp separately, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can do something like that. So to begin with, anyway, I'm going to use this rather lovely. And isn't it lovely? It's very reflective, but it's lovely looking in California blue, uh, Fender Telecaster Aerodyne Special, Aerodyne Special Telecaster, there's a video for it up here, made in Japan. Uh, uh, that goes via my Peters and Strobus of Betty tuner, which is always on my desk, straight into Logic via the interface. And then, um, yeah, so this is, there's nothing else in between. This is basically a guitar straight into computer dry sound, which I call meh. Now, uh, if I turn it on, this is just, First, set, first sound, sailing on the river, drive sound. I'm gonna start off with this guitar, but then go do a few different guitars just to check it all out. Uh, so first, Mesa Boogie Mark Three Plus, Mark Two C Plus sound, and it sounds like this. <laughs> dynamic like a lot of the tone like, stuff uh, also if you turn the volume down for me, maybe presence down, treble down a little bit. Now let's check out the next one, Luke Boogie. Now that I like. Very dynamic. Now, I also got just in case I want it, and I kind of want it now, just why not? I've got this um, T Rex uh, tape echo um, for some delay. <laughs> sound i like that a lot luke boogie i like that one let's ma let's mark it as a favorite uh and tonight i wonder what that could be actually it's counter that that's high gain uh kills the battery <laughs> dark for me.
this Mark II C plus. Uh, uh, so these with amp, they don't have an, um, they just cab uh, amplifies no cabinet. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's try some clean, smoother clean. <laughs> Let's see if we can let's push the gain a bit on that. Oh, that's getting loud again. Compresses more, but this is sort of the, the kind of... Uh... Prince theme. That sounds quite nice, I like that too. Uh, blow me away. Ooh, that's fat. I like that too. Let me turn that down a bit more. I like that a lot. Okay, warm tone. Now let's go back to Enter Night, high gain. <laughs> Metallica will definitely uh, get this video down if I play Metallica or so. with a different guitar. Uh, so this is uh, the Vandercaster, and there's a full video for it up here. It's a guitar with a Vander guitar's body, and or carbon, or would now be called, called Kiesel neck. Uh, fantastic Mr. Glynn's pickup. This is the Clout 9, and you can watch a video on that up here as well. And the Vega Trem, uh, which is awesome. And the pickup, the Clout 9 is sort of, I think Demasi Super Distortion, but a bit clearer maybe, but sort of a high output humbucker, which I think for this will be perfect. <laughs> That sounds great. Now let's go back. Uh, okay, okay, actually, let's mark that as well. Luke Boogie. I like that with a single chorus. Let's see how humbucker sounds. <laughs> good uh, I mean that's the that's is there any other stuff 
Uh, no, these are all AMP. So, I mean, that's the Mark II C+. Plus. Let's go, uh, well, I've got this guitar. Let's go up here to the dual rectifier. So let's try this out. 182 things. Uh, that's an amp only one. So these bones, high gain, Mesa Boogie, dual rectifier. <laughs> Toolkit, I'm gonna guess something tool related. some of that delay. star next to that, I like that. Uh, 182. Ooh, that's hot, very hot. Maybe it's an input down a little bit as well. Um, I mean, let's power through more of these because uh, <laughs> we don't want this to be too long. Sunny rhythm. <laughs> certain sounds dual rectifier let's move on uh, let's go to the mark one king snake uh, first one Budokan lead so this is kind of the Santana lead <laughs> I 
think I need a little bit of delay for that. But then the output needs to go up a bit too, because the delay. It's a, a very mid pokey. Uh, it's a bit louder. The delay kind of turns the volume down a little bit. Very mid forward. Okay, let's start it up clean. Let's turn on a little bit of reverb. Uh, let's do, uh, I like plate. I'll mix this down. So it's a volume and full just on the neck pickup. with the reverb on, on the neck pickup. Now the bridge pickup is a fair bit hotter. But Synco gives you that, that edge of bracket clean. This is, I like that sort of clean. I like, okay, reverb off. Uh, evil is the way. Gentlemen. Again, very mid forward punchy. Okay, volume up on full. Buddy. On a 
it's already fairly pushed, so you can't push it a lot more. Again, fairly high output humbucker, so... Well, uh, is that... The sweet spot. Now that's nice again with delay. the sweet spot. Let's make that a favorite one as well. Now there's back to the Mark 2 C plus. Let's go. Okay. Mark 4 now. We're getting there. So this is Crunchy Zone. That's I'm marking this instantly. This is great. Sounds good. I like Crunchy Zone. Ready to rock! Okay, so I like the Mark IV. Pretty fly. Is that what it's meant to be? Does he use mental boogie? The, what is it? Noodles? I like that sound. Eat my dust. Oh, 
Play it out. I mean, again, all similar sort of flavor. I like that Mark IV though. Some a bit brighter. This is nice, this is dirty. Let's give that a... This is dirty. Uh, and these two are without a cabinet again. Uh, all right, lastly, triple rectifier. We've got there's the most, uh, they've got the most models of that. So let's just quickly go through it. Squeeze it. <laughs> now, actually, let's just, are they all high gain? They're all high gain, aren't they? Okay. Let's use a low tuned guitar for this. All right, so to finish it off, this is my Carvin, or nowadays it would be called Kiesel, uh, CT6 California Carve Top. Uh, lovely guitar, lovely, lovely guitar. Uh, with some Fishman Fluence modern pickups in it. Um, in drop C tuning. Now with this also being a, uh, active pickups, I turn the input gain right down uh, just to kind of they're quite hot um, and active pickups you always got to be a little bit careful with that so let's try with this first sound squeeze it uh, in drop C tuning <laughs> it as well and quick release yeah we threshold up a bit Uh, okay, send it off. Okay, uh, oh, and it's got a dirty tree uh, in front of it as well. Stomp, whatever that is. Uh, tasty juice. <laughs> trouble. Good for metal, and again, I'm definitely not a metal guy. <laughs>
Chuckity, chuckity, chuck. So to do lots with a dirty tree, I guess it's like kind of like a tube screamer kind of thing to fatten it up. <laughs> Sounds the same as the other one. Orange tree. The drive you need. I like that. Let's mark that. You kind of instantly know when you find a sound that you like. destructive saturation maybe to one or two more it's a bit too yeah feel the power hallowed anger I don't mind drive it a bit The other one I want to try with this is the tool one, because I mean, drop C, that's a tool thing. that one I mean that was uh, a, a, a quick quick look with a bunch of different guitars uh, there's lots there I think we I got everything didn't I so we did the triple rectifier we did the Mark 4 which I like that's probably my, my favorite out of all Mark 4 and the Mark 2 C plus are probably my two favorites but I do like I don't mind the King Snake but it's it's very mid forward it's a very specific thing um, and the two rectifiers, I mean, they're rectifiers. They have that uh, angriness to it. Uh, I, I do think it's a really good sounding pack. Uh, make sure to check it out. So, I mean, that was a big, big, <laughs> quick, big video um, of this. 
Uh, I like it. I think it's great. I love the whole Tonex thing. You can watch. I'm going to put a whole playlist of all the Tonex stuff I've done uh, at the end of the video. Uh, make sure to check that out. Uh, there will be more videos. I think I'm going to compare this to the Mesa Boogie Pack in Amplitude. And I'm going to do this with uh, the amps without cabinets going into genome, into the two-notes thing, just to see what it sounds like. So if those videos are coming out, uh, they'll be somewhere. Check them out whenever they're out. So on that note, uh, thank you so much for watching. A uh, big thank you to Ike Multimedia. Uh, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and like and all that sort of stuff. Close to 90% of the people watching this channel are not subscribed. So the more people subscribe while they watch, uh, the better really for everything and the more content we can bring, uh, you know, and show you stuff. <laughs> on that note, see you in the next one. Bye.